Master, Christ said, Suffer little children to come unto me. Could you please tell us about this? Well, sister, nobody can deny that we are all suffering in this creation. Having separated from the Father, nobody has any comfort. Nobody has peace of mind. We are all suffering. Even in the human form, which is known as the top of the creation, we are all suffering. Sometimes we are sick. Sometimes we are jobless. Sometimes children betray us. We are worried about them. We are worried about our friends, our loves, our frustrations. We are always suffering in this creation. Nobody can say one has peace of mind or contentment or happiness in this creation. So he is referring to the people, to seeker. Those who are suffering in this creation, in one form or another, come to me. I will give you comfort. I will give you rest. And uh, especially, suffering is more in the lower birth as in animals which are being killed every day for our food, insects being trampled under our feet, birds being shot for our pellet. Suffering is there. Everywhere suffering is there. When we, we being top of the creation are suffering so much, there are wars every day with one excuse or another. Imagine how many women have become, have become widow. How many children become fatherless, motherless? How many people are starving in this world? What more suffering there can be? Go to the hospital and see the suffering of humanity. We are all suffering in this creation. And even if we have everything in this world, good partner in life, all the wealth, all the status, position, even then you don't have peace of mind within yourself. You are always missing something in you. You, in spite of everything, the feeling of loneliness do not leave you at all. You, are, you don't know what you are missing. But yet you are not at peace with yourself. You are always at war within yourself. You don't know what you are missing. That is also suffering. The inclination of the soul is towards its own source. So it's suffering in the separation of the Father. As Christ said, that I won't condemn you because you are already condemned. A condemned man is always suffering. As long as we remain separated from the Father, suffering is our lot.